Hey guys, welcome to Heat Transfer Fundamentals from Skilllink. In this video, we will talk about an important material property called thermal conductivity. In metals, electrons are the energy carriers. These carriers are free to move in any direction they want. When you heat one side of a metallic rod, the energy carriers at that end start to move to the other side, thereby transferring heat. The physical meaning of heat transfer can be understood by visualizing the flow of these energy carriers. When the rod is at room temperature, the energy carriers will move around equally in all directions. In this animation, you can see that the net motion of energy carriers in the positive x direction and the negative x direction are the same. The same is true along the y and the z directions. That is why the net heat transfer is zero and the temperature of the rod and its surroundings are the same. However, when there is a temperature gradient, the flow of energy carriers in the direction of the gradient is noticeably higher than its flow in any other direction. This net flow of energy carriers in a particular direction is what causes the temperature to rise. With this simple idea, we can easily say that we can increase the heat transfer by increasing the number of energy carriers or by increasing their speed or by increasing the amount of energy per carrier. The product of all these three things, number of energy carriers, their velocity and their energy per unit temperature is what we refer to as thermal conductivity. The type of energy carrier depends on the molecular structure of the material. That is why thermal conductivity is a useful material dependent property. All right, I hope through this video you learned about thermal conductivity. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.